guys, the Glass Dragon here. We'll go back to another video, more specifically, a setup video thing. So basically, I'm going to be turning uh, that corner right there. That's all. Hold on. Yes, I know phone. But this corner right here, I'm gonna clean all this up and I'm going to be making a YouTube setup here. So, let's see how that goes. I should probably clean this first, so let's get to that. Alright, now that I got this all set up, I'm going to uh, be putting a TV right here, and let's see how that goes. Okay, now that I have the TV here, I think it's a 40, 40 inch TV, uh, LED, pretty nice TV. Um, we haven't been using it, so I kind of jacked it. So. Um, I'm going to plug the Xbox in and see how that goes before oh shit, before I actually uh, start making my mount for my phone camera. So basically the idea is here that I'm going to have my angle of the TV somehow so I can have a phone mount so my phone can go here and be recording the TV and I can use my editing skills just to um, make the, you only see the screen, so it's like gameplay. So let's try that. All right, everything seems to be all wired up and I'll give you a short little tour. So basically, short explanation of this is I have this TV right here, it's HD, very nice. It's not about re switching the TVs, but I decided not to. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be like my personal TV to you know, play my games and whatnot just on my own. And this is going to be for like um, YouTube and stuff. And I'm going to have, I'm gonna make a Lego mount because that's gonna be easiest because I don't have anything to make a mount out of. Because I don't really know how to make a good mount. So we'll do that. I am pretty handy with Legos, like as you can see. I've just made sculptures like this. I'm not gonna make make it look too fancy. I'm not gonna spray paint it or anything uh, because it's not gonna be seen in the video, of course. But just to check out how things look, I'm gonna turn on the Xbox and turn on the TV. All right, now I have to well, I guess I don't have to. Um, I think it's this one, source. Yep. If I just click source, I don't really feel like going and running downstairs and getting the remote. I wait for it to load. There we go. Hey. Actually, looks really nice. I'm actually, I'm impressed. All right. Um, okay, well, I have that set up. Um, let's start working on the mount. Alright, so I have the mount itself completed. Um, show you. So, seems like it's so zoomed in. Anyways, so I'll give you a little dissection on pieces here. So, this is the latch. This is the fit. Here's the mount. So, my phone goes right here. And since it's just kind of a wonky kind of thickness, I have to put the fit here. Come here, Bella. Sorry, it's my dog. Anyways, so then the fit will pop out if I just have my phone there, the fit. So I put the fit there, somewhere right there, and then I just put the latch on. And this fits the phone perfectly, and it makes it so it doesn't move. And yeah, it doesn't look pretty, but it gets the job done. So now I'm just gonna give it a little bit of elevation to give it that proper, um, height to record my TV screen properly.
Alright, so let me show you in depth about what this does. So basically, um, here's the fit as I showed you earlier in the latch. Um, all these can go. But now I made some revisions right here. Uh, stronger pieces, less. Um, I gave it some height. And basically I added these things and this just to reduce the amount of Legos used because, you know, it's taking up a lot of time and I was getting lazy. But basically, all you have to do is get this and set that up, set that on top of the tissue box. Um, so let's try flipping it upside down, see if that looks anything better. Yeah, let's add some weight to this actually. Okay, I added a new modification, I made it so when it slide around, it would just clip on. And now it just clips onto it. I have weight, I have a rock in here, actually, a really big rock. I had it sitting right here, holding up the phone, that's how it was. you guys had a good view. So now let's uh, test this puppy out. Turns out I made this thing a little bit too tall, so I have to bring it down just a tad bit. Thinking about bringing it to maybe about right here, that should be good. Good uh, point to stop at. So let's check it out after it's done. All right, from the looks of that video, it looked pretty nice. So let's try out actually shooting some gameplay with it. How about it? We're gonna play a little bit of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare to uh, show off my uh, skills. Anyways guys, I think it looked pretty badass. So yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna stick with this. I really like it. Um 
I'm gonna work on the lighting and all that good stuff, but that was just some raw footage, raw-ish footage of me playing Advanced Warfare. Um, so yeah, um, it's, it's a pretty nice setup. Uh, it's not advanced or anything, but it gets the job done, and I'm pretty proud of it. I mean, look at it. It's literally just Legos, tissue box, and just some editing magic. And, uh, you know, of course my console and my TV, but hopefully I can, I'm going to build off of that later. Um, I'm going to get more of a schedule. I have a calendar on the side of my computer. It's not a, a really new computer. It's a, actually a Windows XP. But, um, anyways, um, with lighting, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Uh, I think this, this lamp does pretty good. Um, I'm thinking of making some kind of makeshift lighting that only shines on my face so it doesn't mess up the TV. And um, then I'm going to make it so that um, I'm going to get my GoPro uh, from the Char Wyatt. The Char, and I'm getting that back. I'm getting my GoPro back. Um, anyways, um, next time I see him, I'm going to get my GoPro back. Hopefully get a new SD card and have a face uh, a cam while I'm playing video games. So you can see my reactions and cuss a whole fucking lot and whatnot. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for the video, so if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. Pound that subscribe button for more content, and as always, stay classy. Links for um, my social media in the description below. Also, check out Nashar's channel. His icon looks like this, and um, I'll put the link in the description for him as well. He does awesome parkour videos, and I think he does some, some gaming, or might do gaming in the future. And yeah, he's pretty awesome. Uh, go check him out. Um, I hope to see him sometime this week. Um, I'm going to see if I can set something up. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for the video. So, peace.